No, I went. I went and uh, I watched them um, when they were doing yeah. the filming yeah. in Hawaii, yeah. but I wasn't. Uh, I, I went to get ready for the film, yeah. but I was too late. They were already starting the. I was going to ride a motorbike, <laughs> but they had to do makeup, and so I wasn't. Uh, Bummer. Next one. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be another. Yeah, there will be another. We'll get Roman Reigns out there. You, uh, you have the world's most famous spider bike in the last six months. I mean, you just, how did that happen? What, what was? Can you just tell me? Yeah, I um, I left New Zealand. I was training in New Zealand. I was actually in good shape. I left New Zealand, and I um. Probably the day before I left, I looked down at my leg and there was a, like a hole and I thought, you know, this will probably go away when I'm in camp. And then uh, we went to camp and we were training pretty good, right, Kev, in the beginning. Had some Very good, good. You know, started off quite strong, good sparring rounds. And then probably the fourth or fifth week, my body just started declining and um, energy level started to zap. And uh, so, we were, you know, I went from sparring eight to ten rounds to not even being able to spar two rounds or, you know. Um, so we went to the doctors. And the doctor in uh, Vegas said to us that it was a spider bite from New Zealand. So he said we, were, we weren't fit to train, which means, and we tried our best to, I mean, please, doc, is there anything we can do to make this work as we want to fight? You know, and he says, no, sorry, it's. Uh, it didn't hurt? It didn't bother you? It, just it didn't bother me. It just, my energy was just, my whole body sort of cramped up, no. and every little movement was just, I was in pain. So. What, what was this exactly? This was uh, when it was October, fall, yeah. August. It was um, August we started. Yeah, yeah August. You were in camp. I was in camp. Yeah. We had done four weeks. And then we, uh, I think we. That's what I was playing around on my phone trying to find. That's the spider bite. Just send that. It doesn't look that. Was that a bullet wound? Yeah. Well, yeah. No. It looks like something. It would have been. Like a red put that on yes. his leg. It would have been better story if it was a. Is this antibiotics? Is that how they treat it? Or just we, yeah, yeah, antibiotics. antibiotics. We did the blood test, everything. So you just had to give it weeks to come Give it weeks. I think we took we two, two, four weeks out of the gym. And uh, we tried to reschedule the fight. And, and uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't available. So then we tried to re get Eddie to reschedule another fight. Because we're ready to go. In fact, after the spider bite, after we had two weeks off, Joe came back and inspired two sparring sessions. And looked good and felt good. What he's failing to say is, it was a Friday night, we'd had four weeks in camp, and I'm sitting in the kitchen with him, and, he, and I looked across like this, and he looked like a frail old man. His shoulders were dropped down, he had all this pain in his chest, in his stomach, um, and I said, mate, I said, <coughs> I fancy myself to bash you now. And you know, he didn't even bring a smile. And I said, you're not fighting. I said, there is no friggin' way I'm taking you to the UK to have Chisora, a guy that I know you can beat, a guy punch you from one side of the ring or the, to the other because you've got no energy. Mm. And that's, that's when it began. I rang David, David Higgins up. I said, I'm taking Joe to the doctor, but I can tell you now, he won't yeah. be fine. When did you, when did you feel completely over it? Like two weeks after, we you know, took time to recover, and it was still, I was starting to feel better. It wasn't completely finished, but I was starting to feel better, and I went in and, and did rounds of sparring. Then we try to get in contact with uh, Eddie and Matchroom and say, please put us on any card that you can get us on. And but you seem to be, like, all you guys, you kind of recognize that passing on that fight might be tough to get another one. Yeah. Oh, that. And it was a fight that we wanted for a long time, you know, and we called him, called him out, made it happen, and then unfortunately. But we also knew the damage if we'd gone over there and, and lost. And lost, right? yeah. Um, and that wasn't worth the risk, it really wasn't. You know, he, he never slept for about a week before I pulled him out of the fight. He couldn't sleep. He had he couldn't move his oh, neck. Yeah. There were like there were a whole lot of crazy symptoms that we just couldn't work out. It was the most bizarre one of the most bizarre things I've ever had to work with. And we knew nothing about spider bites. I didn't even know that we had poison spiders in New Zealand. Same. And you know, it was this red tail <laughs> this thing that was a relation to the black willow over here and it was you know, we really we don't we're not that um, we're not that keen on spiders at the moment. We don't even like talking about them. You know, it, was, it wrecked the whole year for us. We had one fight in 2019. Very slow, yeah, yeah. You know, and the biggest thing to remember is this: like, you know, 2018, Joe suffered his first defeat, 12-round decision to, to Joshua. Then we took a fight on short notice, went and got the headbutt to the cerebellum. La 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 la. We lost the white fight in a fight that we should have won. We're coming off back-to-back -back losses. Okay, we've fought twice in the last 19 months mainly because of what went on last year. 
we're watching what's going on in the heavyweight division. It's never been as exciting as it is right now. Joe belongs there at the top. We need to go out there and perform on Saturday night at a very, very high level to show that Joe is one of the elite guys in the heavyweight division. You know, you, at the moment you've got the likes of, you've got Andy Ruiz and Oscar Rivas and Dillian White and Chisora and Pavetkin. You know, he belongs in that group and we've got to, we've got to go out there and show it on Saturday night. Yeah. By the way that he's going to fight, that he is, he does belong to be in that elite group. What did you think of this weekend? Last, uh, last week? weekend, oh, it was it was a great performance by Fury. Mm -hmm. Very, uh, you know, he executed the plan. That it was no secret. He said he was going to come out and take him, you know, take it to him, and that's what he did. So, give us something that maybe we don't see. Did yeah. You see from your fighter's eye, or like how that unfolded. The fight. Yeah. What did, what did you see? I just see uh, the confidence they possessed coming into the fight. You know, he, what he was saying before the fight, and then he sort of threw a lot of people off with not taking off the shirt and weighing a lot heavier than usual. Um, just as the confidence about his whole, you know, his whole persona. Right. Yeah. What do you, what do you think of uh, relay that now? The uh, the landscape is opened up. It's, it's opened interesting. up. Yeah. You're in the top ten already, still. So yeah. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are. Um, just on what Kevin said, I need to go out there and perform well, you know, and people, you know, grab, grab, you grab the attention of people by looking good, you know, and, and you know, getting the devastating knockouts. Um, and as soon as we get past this test on, on Saturday, uh, we are in line to make, you know, some big fights happen for us. I, I believe I belong at the top, you know, and I, I know I can beat a lot of the guys at the top. I just have to, you know, we're working our way back to the top now. Do you feel like this is the perfect kind of guy to get that? devastating kind of performance against, given that he's mostly a career cruiserweight coming off, like you're going to have physical advantages and an opportunity to turn in that kind I, of I, I, Yeah, I believe that this guy will be perfect to, you know, to show what I can do. How'd you feel against Leo I mean, the guy could take a punch, that's for sure. Yeah, I, you know, I was a, you know, the ref did the right thing by right. stopping. I think he was just taking a lot of punishment. Um, I sort of rushed myself again in the beginning of the fight, throwing too many punches and not picking the right shots. Um, but overall, I think it was a you know showed a display of different combinations and variety of punches, and uh, now it's about taking my time and you know actually throwing them with bad intentions. Does Eddie tell you guys what's realistic if you win this fight? And no, I think he, he's just going to let us take care of business. You know, and Higgins is here and he sat down with Eddie and like we've made it no secret we we want a big fight this summer. Yeah. You know, and that's why we're fighting in February, because we want to get two more fights in this year. We can't have another year like last year. And I think a significant thing that Joe just said, one of the things that we have really worked on since the Leopi fight is maybe slowing things down a little bit. You know, Joe threw, threw a lot of punches in that fight, and he had him in a position to knock him out on a couple of occasions, but rushed it. So, you know, when he's out, out there, when he's throwing his combinations, just a slight pause, you know, and, yeah. pick, and pick that kill shot. And that's something that we've Easier been, said than done. No, it, it really is. is. Slowing no, no, no. things down, I say yeah. it all the time, is the hardest thing yeah. to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. Come from yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 Even Demetrius Andrich struggled with it. Just yeah. gotta slow yeah. down and turn you the punch. You just gotta, yeah. Create something. You're right, though. You're, 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 not, yeah, that's what we've been working on, but you're right, though. It's uh. Now, your opponent, Sean Dale, I mean, big puncher at Cruiserweight. How did you come about this and how how long this can you know, before I uh, before I went to Vegas, uh, Kevin was working with you know David Higgins and Matchroom to try. They had um, a lot of opponents, uh, options of opponents, right? But we were closer. We, we the, I wanted to have an opponent signed before Joe came into camp, and we were we were so close to having Helena done. They accepted the fight and terms and everything, and then of course he was offered another fight for, then, for a chunk more money, and we lost it before he actually signed the fight. Who was this? Helena. Rob Helena. No, then we put offers in to... Maurice uh, Swark. Yeah, Irkin Tepper, uh, Gerald Washington. Chris Ariola. Yeah. Um, uh, all the PBC guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Duhapis. Yeah. 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 Christian yeah. Hammer. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, so we went after a whole bunch of guys, and we were having no luck at all. And mm -hmm. I think about just a little over three weeks ago, we were able to put this fight together. And it's just important for us that we actually fought on this car. Yeah. Have you studied Winters at all? There's so, there's so little about them. That's what makes it a dangerous fight for us, is the guy's got nothing to lose. All the pressure's on Joe to perform in this fight. And, uh, you know, 
look, he's a little old in the tooth. Um, but you know, I look, I, I, I believe he's going to come. He's going to try to he's going to try and put a lot of pressure on Joe. Um, he's he's coming off two back to back very good wins, especially the Tislenko win with a, a fight that no one thought he was yeah. even going to be in. So because of that, you know, we've prepared very well. Um, you know, we've, you asked before, Sergio, we've, we've done seven weeks in Vegas, sparred um, 118 rounds, which you know is a, a lot of rounds. Um, a bunch of those are against Carlos Tackham. Um, and we work, we've had about three sparring partners. But, you know, Joe's, Joe's worked hard. We worked camp, hard, you know? yeah. You threw out Tackham for this? No, no Tackham was already in, it was in Vegas, so. Do you, worked out. do you live in Vegas or do you, do you I live in Vegas for training camp. Okay. Just and then I my time off I'm back in New Zealand. Okay. What gym did you train in? My gym. We got a oh. yeah. we got a product facility. Okay. What's the name of the gym? Team Barry. Okay. 